For those that are new here or just catching this, me and John are crypto miners. We used to be hobbyists, and now we've started a complete mine. We've went from one or two machines into full-blown, full-scale, pushing this on to the next level, and we're here to document our journey. This episode is brought to you by Mine the ASIC. Mine the ASIC is a great place for you to price out software, find trusted vendors like ourselves at Coastal Crypto, find out proof of work rankings, use a calculator, figuring out home mining and et cetera. So just go out, check out mineasic.com uh, and hopefully here soon, you'll be able to find us under YouTube partners. Power companies don't start to give breaks until you hit five megawatts. That is what we have found to be the minimum. Unless you got some kind of inside line to, you know, some major power brokers and some major players. Um, if, while, while you're starting out like us, you're building a company, you are building facilities out, PPAs or power plans don't start until five megawatts. Uh, and even at those prices, at the five megawatts, there's a hefty deposit that you have to pay. Um, yeah which is another hurdle that Mark and I are are trying to navigate around. Um, do you want to go into the deposit just to let people know what, you know, figures, roundabout figures? We don't have to go specifics, but we can kind of give them an idea. Oh, yeah. I mean, it. I'm sure people will be shocked. But so to activate five megawatts and on your own substation, so this is, you know, you're, you're growing, hey, Hey, power company, I need to turn on five megawatts. Um, I just need an account number. Can you give me that? And, and and they ask you, so do you have history of operating at five megawatts? Well, no, not really. <laughs> well, uh, there's a deposit for that. Okay. Uh, how much is that deposit? You know, a couple thousand? What what you know, what is it? And typically with where we're at right now, we're paying anytime we break a tier, maybe like five, 10 grand uh, every time we pay, you know, we break a tier in, in power consumption. They came back and the security deposit to turn on a five megawatt substation is $500,000. <laughs> yeah, that's that, that is not over exaggerating. That is literally the bill that showed up as we talked to our rep because at our level, we get a rep. Um, our rep doesn't know much about things, but you know, he's there to basically tell us what we owe. <laughs> yeah. So, but there, there are ways around it. It's a scary yes. number. Um, the, the next step, if, if anybody, any of you guys are in construction or, or in that kind of realm where, you know, you're doing a job and you just don't have the capital to pay for materials. You can get a bond for the materials or you can get a bond to finish a job out. And that's kind of what the direction that we're going in. We're looking for what's called a surety bond. Um, and we're, we're having to vet our company, um, vet our assets. And, and you know, Mark and I, we're going, you know, we're getting vetted ourselves. And uh, even though it is a refundable deposit, it is still a headache to jump through some of these hoops to get this surety bond to get this 500,000 half a million dollar deposit to turn on a switch. That's what yeah. it comes. It, everything is there. The power is already hooked up. It's just turning on a switch or hitting enter on a keyboard. Yeah. That is what we're paying $500,000 for. It is crazy. And, and the reason they're giving us is because we don't have a history of operating at five megawatts. So, uh, one, another lesson learned.